This is the second in the series of non-profit startup pack introductory videos. This video focuses on Salesforce basics. As we know that the non-profit startup pack is written on top of Salesforce. So it's important for us to understand the basics of how Salesforce works and its terms. So a uh, non-profit startup pack is a package that runs on top of Salesforce. Salesforce has uh, an, a, a concept called application. So uh, in your Salesforce instance, you have quite a few applications and these applications determine the look and feel of your browser Salesforce window. So uh, you can change the applications and then the look and feel will change. An application consists of a tab, consists of many tabs. A tab corresponds to an object. An object represents a business entity. So for example, a customer is represented by a business entity called object, uh, called account. So some important standard uh, objects which are available in a Salesforce instant are accounts, contacts, opportunities, leads, etc. An object consists of properties or fields in Salesforce terms. So for example, the customer consists of first name, last name, address, phone number, email address. These are the properties we want to capture for an object of, uh, of a customer type. <clears throat> uh, an object consists of some standard fields which are predefined out of the box. In addition, a Salesforce administrator can add more fields based upon your specific business needs. The page layout of an object determines how the, the page looks. So we can move the fields around and present it to the user in the way that is relevant for the business. Salesforce is a very flexible platform. It allows us to add new business entities by adding objects. It, uh, it allows us to add custom fields. Uh, let's move on to standard objects. So as I mentioned briefly, a set of standard objects are present by default in a Salesforce instance. These are accounts. For example, account represents a business entity. It's, it could be any kind of business. Uh, for non-profit startup pack, we represent a, a non-profit organization as a, an account. We also represent a household as an account. So a family that a non-profit works with uh, is represented in Salesforce as a household, which is a type of account. Contact are, are people that work in, uh, in an organization and a non-profit word uh, for, for the household it represents an individual so for example uh, let's say the smith household consists of uh, john smith contact and mary smith contact an opportunity represents a possible uh, likelihood of a business so in, in the for profit world so if you if if uh, if we are, if uh, let's say a salesperson is working with with IBM and uh, and there is a likelihood of a large business coming in from IBM then IBM here represents an account the business that we are trying to capture those details are uh, are are stored in the opportunity and the person of IBM we are dealing with is stored as a contact for the non-profit uh, word, the opportunity represents a donation that uh, the non-profit is likely to receive from a customer, from a household. It could also represent, let's say, a membership or a grant that the opportunity may, may be working on. Record type is a concept uh, which is like one object can have many different forms. and uh, these different forms are represented in Salesforce Word as record types. So for example, Opportunity has these five record types which are available out of the box in Nonprofit Startup Pack 3. These are Donation, Grant, Major Gift, Matching Donation, 
and membership. So uh, uh, the look and feel for all of these is different. So for, for a donation, we may have to capture a different kind of information as compared to a membership opportunity type. So that uh, that is flexible. We can define for donation what fields need to be stored, how they should be shown on the screen, things like that. That all is available out of the box. Okay, now let's uh, uh, we've seen some of the concepts. Now let's look at real uh, demo of uh, of this working. So when we go to Salesforce.com, everything in Salesforce works through a browser. So we always go to uh, open our favorite browser and type salesforce.com then we click on the login button and this will bring us the login screen so we will be able to enter the username password that we have from our previous salesforce uh, from the as we saw in the previous video now once you enter that we will get a screen like this now uh, this is the application on the top right that is the pre-existing application here is the non-profit startup pack that is already defined it it opens with that view if we want to change the application let's say uh, let's look at this for an example sales the standard salesforce uh, sales cloud application uh, you see that the look and feel is very different here because uh, a sales organization a company using salesforce for a sales crm kind of situation will have different business needs uh, let's go back to our non-profit startup pack application. Now we've changed the application to NPSP. Notice the look and feel has changed completely. The top left of Salesforce on the browser is this edition. The, the current edition is winter 15 Salesforce edition. So Salesforce has three releases every year. And uh, uh, let's say when the summer comes, then the, the logo will change and a new set of new features will be added to the Salesforce. Okay, so underneath the logo are these tabs, home, account, contact, leads, opportunities, etc. So uh, these are the standard objects we already discussed. An account as we discussed represents could represent a non-profit org, it could represent a household, etc. So let's look at the type of accounts that are available. These are the categories of accounts. There are household accounts and uh, there, there are organizations, etc. So uh, let's just to start with, click on viewing all the household accounts. This is a pre-configured Salesforce instance. So we just see one existing account here, which is predefined. This is just a dummy account for us to uh, understand how Salesforce works. In a real nonprofit instance, there could be thousands of households that the nonprofit works with. So this household object uh, already comes up with a lot of standard fields and businesses can add their own fields based upon requirements. We'll have a more detailed video on how to customize uh, accounts, but let's just uh, see some standard fields here. We have the name of the account and the contact. So uh, and we can click on the edit button. And uh, this will allow us to change the account name. We can uh, we can change the 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 greetings and uh, how the household should be shown, etc. Let's go to other tabs. So contact represents the an individual of an household or an individual who works in an organization. So there is one pre-existing contact. 
it has some standard fields which are available to us things uh, these are like the name of the person the household that the person is associated with the company that the person works in the title of the individual the phone number address information etc we will go into detail of these uh, these individual contacts how to create them in a, in a later on in a later video let's look at the opportunities tab as we saw that uh, in the in the presentation that there are different kind of opportunities there could be donations there could be grants there could be membership information so by default there are no uh, donations available we can go ahead and create new donations again by going to the opportunity tab clicking on the new button now these are the five different types of uh, opportunities that we can create in the nonprofit world this is flexible we can add more types if needed let's go ahead and choose donation now the fields that will be shown are specific to donation if we had show, show chosen grant then different set of fields should have would have been shown here we can fill in these inf this information and click on save in the next video we will go into how to create different households how to create grants how to create donations etc